a tri-tip uh, that we're gonna make some sliders out of and we also have a ham this is actually our Christmas Day dinner meal that I'm prepping the day before um, actually Christmas Day was Monday so this is a Friday so I'm actually prepping this tri-tip on a Friday afternoon and I just want to go ahead and just remove this fat cap nice and quickly with one of my favorite knives and shape it up a little bit coming in with a horseradish sauce for a binder and we're gonna do the 1836 from Supple Busters on this one repeat the process on both sides and this tri-tip is going to be fantastic guys there is the seasoned tri-tip Again, we're just using one rub on this one. It's just the 1836 from Suckle Busters. Can't go wrong with this rub, guys. Amazing beef rub. And I'm just going to food save it. And uh, put it in the fridge. Until Monday. <laughs> so that's where she sat. So Christmas morning came along. Christmas lunchtime-ish. And I'm getting those uh, bold Bear Mountain pellets loaded up into the hopper of my Rectech Bullseye. This, out of all my cookers, this is my favorite one to use. Just so easy to use. We're going to set it to 225. Watch out now. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and uh, there's the tri tip. Been in the fridge a couple of days. And uh, the delicious honey cured ham from a local HEB. I'm using Running Wild uh, product here, some pecan rub, and some maple sugar bourbon rub. So I'm just gonna open up this ham, get rid of that uh, syrup that they always put in there. I'm gonna open it up, and I wanna try to get some of this maple bourbon all up inside in between those slices. Top it off with some of that delicious peckin', peckin' rub. And into the bullseye it goes, guys, at 225. Looking for an internal temp of 140, 145 before I pull this, uh, this, this ham. But next to it, guys, I'm gonna place that delicious smelling, fantastic looking tri-tip into that little bullseye. And they're just going to smoke away at 225, guys. I'm looking for an internal temp of 120 uh, so that I could pull that tri tip and let it rest before I turn around and go back and sear it. And at this point, uh, that's where we're at. I pulled it. And we're going to rest it just wide open like that. Eventually, I tinted it closed. A couple of views from that delicious smelling ham. My goodness, guys, that ham is going to be the palm. Uh, that's the internal temp that we're showing on this tri-tip here. That's exactly where I wanted it right there. So we're letting it rest um, until this ham hits that internal temp that we're looking for. And we're pretty much there. I'm just letting you look and see how it bloomed. The smells coming off of this thing. That maple bourbon rub um, pork, that pork candy. My goodness, guys, that stuff is amazing. It's it's just a phenomenal rub on pork. It wanders to this ham. I've used it before on ham. And just look at that color on that ham. I'm just going to pull it and rest it. Just going to wrap it in foil and let it rest. Look at all the drippage and deliciousness. Now I got the bullseye set to 500. Gotcha. <laughs> this thing is burning up that delicious ham juice. And I got my grill crates set in there. And I'm going to let everything get scorching hot. Throw some butter on there. I can't believe it's not butter. Just let it go, guys. It is searing time. This thing is screaming with heat. And I'm just going to apply it two minutes per side, guys. Two minutes per side. This thing is screaming, scorching hot. You just take a look at that beautiful crust 
after two minutes right there on those hot grill grates. Nice and even and just, man, I'm telling you. Tri-tip is very quickly becoming my favorite protein to cook because number one, it's cheap. Number two, it's delicious. And man, it just, it cooks fast. You know, you don't have to cook it overnight. You just wheel out your cooker and cook you up one real quick. Look at that delicious dry tip. Many more experiences, experiments with a dry tip in 2024 this year, guys. Lots of stuff coming soon, but that is the dry tip resting. And guys, the night before, I made another batch of this delicious chimichurri. This stuff is amazing. And I've got a baguette here that we sliced up and I'm applying some chimichurri to each slice. I'll put it on a cookie sheet and toast it. I'm gonna lightly toast it. I'm gonna take my tri-tip and I'm gonna slice it about as thin as I can slice by hand. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I now have my meat slicer. I wish I had it thin because I could have got it really, really nice and thin. You can see how pliable it is. It, it, it kind of shows how tender it turned out. Fantastic product. I mean, it was delicious. So, guys, you guessed it. I'm going to take that tri-tip and I'm going to put it on top of those toasted baguette slices. And I'm going to top some more chimichurri on top of that. And, man, flavor explosion right there, guys. Delicious. Uh, some leftover tri-tip there that didn't make it on a on some bread, but guys take a look at this ham I'm Just gonna slice it wide open. We were ready to eat. I didn't get any shots of the sides that wifey made but I guarantee you this was a delicious dinner Nice up close on that beautiful ham Smelt good looked good tasted even better <laughs> And those beautiful tri-tip sliders this, these are the most delicious ones I've made so far. Can't wait to play with it some more. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.